Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven coming to you super comfy with my big shirt, my comfy leggings, and my super cozy socks. And of course, I have my cleaning hat. This is going to be known as the cleaning hat on my channel because I plan on doing a lot more cleaning and organizing videos. You guys really seem to like my cleaning my kitchen video that I recently posted. So in the clean with me video that I just posted, you guys wanted to see the upstairs version of that video, like a part two. Fortunately for me, unfortunately for you, um, it's already clean. Yay! If you guys saw my last vlog, you guys know that my housekeeper came and did a deep clean of the whole house. She usually comes once a month to help me out, so everything is clean. So I'll definitely just have to wait until it gets dirty again, which doesn't take long, and until I need to do my laundry again. And then I will film a clean the bedroom, doing the laundry video for you guys. But for today, I still wanted to do something, so we're going to tackle my bathroom. As you can see in this giant cabinet space here, which is also pretty deep, like it's as deep as my arm, it's full, just chock full of hair products, skincare products, bath products, nail products, you name it, I've got it. Especially with the skincare stuff, I definitely have, oh, I mean, I have an excess of everything. Let's, let's not even lie here, but I definitely have a lot of different types of skincare stuff because you guys know with my acne journey, I have tried so many different things on my skin and I just now got to a good place with my skin. So since I've been on Accutane and my skin is clearing up and I've changed my diet and I've kind of just gotten my life together when it comes to my my skin and my skincare routine which by the way I also recently posted my skincare routine which is just like a few simple favorite products that I shared with you guys so check out that video I will have that video linked down below if you want to know what products I do like and do use but I definitely do not use all of these products anymore so I need to just declutter get rid of throw away the old stuff. Not to mention I already have a huge excess of products in my filming studio makeup room that are already like in the giveaway pile from PR packages and stuff, so. Anyway, all right, so quick little run through of what I've got going on in here. This stuff is really not organized at all. It kind of was at some point. This is kind of like the skincare section right here. I have a lot of face masks, moisturizers, cleansers, some lotions, some body oils. I have my apple cider vinegar and my Aztec clay mask powder in here. So there definitely is stuff in here that I do use but most of it I don't and then below that this is kind of just like a random section I have some nair and an extra cleanser back here I have like some bath stuff like shower gel and then below that this is just like an extra basket of nonsense I honestly don't even know what this stuff is it looks like some shampoo a little scalp massager and then moving on over to this side this is really like like my hair care section all my hair products honestly there are a lot of products in here that I actually do use because you know us curly haired girls we like to have a lot of different products but there's also random stuff like this is a moisturizer this is a nasal spray and then below that is more hair stuff more so like the shampoo and hair dye type stuff. And then below that, this is mostly, like this bucket right here is all my nail polishes, which I cannot even tell you the last time I painted my own nails. I do not do my own nails. I have acrylic nails that I get done at the salon. I never bring my own nail polish to the salon because I get gel. So I don't even know why I have like a whole bucket of nail polish. I've used it like once or twice on Zaya. So that's a quick overview of what I currently got going on in here is just ridiculous. So I think the first section I'm gonna start off with is like the hair stuff, cause I think this is gonna be easier because I think it's gonna be pretty easy for me to tell, oops. I think it's gonna be pretty easy for me to tell what I want and what I don't want. Put everything in the basket and take it out. I also have my little handy dandy travel mirror. Oh, and another Listerine. Why do I just have random bottles of Listerine everywhere? Onto the floor so I can go through it. All right, so hair stuff. I think I'm just gonna start by taking everything out of the container and then I'm just gonna put back in what I wanna keep.
Okay, and honestly, I need some Clorox wipes because some of this stuff is really sticky and I need to wipe out these containers. Wipe this out real quick. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is kind of how I originally did it was I have two little things. So the smaller one is kind of like for my straight hair products and the big one is for my curly hair products. So stuff right off the bat that I know that I need is my water spray bottle. This is just what I put water in for my curly hair. I need my got to be glued um, hair gel that I use with my wigs. And honestly, I use this to lay my edges as well. Also for the straight hair section, I have quite a few like serum type things. Um, and these kind of all serve the same purpose. So I definitely know I'm gonna keep my Beyond the Zone heat protectant spray for the straight hair box. Definitely keeping my Chi serum for the straight hair. And then this is actually a heat protectant serum by Cream of Nature. It's with argan oil. This is actually a really good serum as well. It's kind of like the same thing as this, but I can't just give this up. And then these are two more argan oil treatments as well. This one's by One and Only. I just used this in my straight hair tutorial. And this one is by Ovation Hair. I think between these two, I would just pick this one and then I would give this one away. It's pretty full, I only used it a few times. So it has been used, so I'm not gonna do like a giveaway for you guys, but I can definitely give it to my mom or my sisters or something. Next up for the straight hair box, uh, definitely dry shampoo. I do use dry shampoo when my hair is straightened. So I have this one that's by Batiste. And I also have this one, which is for dark hair. This one comes out as like a white powder. This one comes out as a darker powder so you don't get that white residue. I also use these on my wig, so it kind of just depends on what color the wig is. Like I would use this one on a blonde wig, this one on a black wig, so I do need both of those. Oh, and I have another Batiste dry shampoo. I didn't know I had two of those in here. I'll use it though. This is stuff I'll actually use. Uh, I just found another hair serum for when your hair is straight like same thing as like this other one so between these two i would definitely pick this one also because i know the nozzle is broken on this one so bye bye okay so hairsprays i have a couple of hairsprays here this one is beyond the zone uh like humidifying humidifying blocking hairspray this is a pretty good hairspray i use that on my straight hair this is a Thermo Protect Spray. I have a lot of heat protectant type products. I honestly don't know like what the difference is between this Beyond the Zone spray and this Beyond the Zone heat protectant spray. This one is just like an aerosol, like more of a hairspray type thing. I definitely use a lot of heat protectant on my hair and this is the type of thing that I don't mind having multiples of because I know like if I run out of this one, I'll start using this one and I won't have to buy a new one. So I'm not just gonna get rid of this now. This is a dry conditioner spray. I thought it was dry shampoo when I was using it and I was like, why is it not working? But then I realized it's dry conditioner, which I don't even know what that is, so I don't want this. And this is just more of like an extra hold hairspray by Beyond the Zone, so I definitely use that. This is a broken can of mousse, which like, what was I even using styling mousse for? Like that's so 2005 and the thing is not even on it, so I can't even use it, so that's trash. This is the Beyond the Zone Smooth Criminal Hair Primer Spray. Um, it's kind of like a hair softener detangler type thing that I sometimes use on my hair like before I style it or whatever, so I'll keep that. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut Oil Leave-In Treatment. It's again like a spray, conditioner spray detangler. I definitely use that for curly hair. This is a leave-in conditioner, but I don't like it. It's by Bellamy and it just has a weird formula and a weird nozzle that's like really annoying. It doesn't really spray right, so I don't want that. This is aloe vera gel, which is in the totally wrong section, so I'll put that to the side. Next up I have this little Design Essentials set. It came as a set. It's quinoa and bamboo and it's like a hair treatment, hair repair treatment. It's got a replenishing shampoo, leave-in conditioner, and a liquid strengthening mask. I think I tried this once and I didn't like it or it didn't really like make a difference for me. So I'm just gonna 
bundle this up and give it away. Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. I really like this leave-in conditioner, so that's going in the curly hair pile. This is my Curls Blueberry Bliss um, Curl Control Jelly. It's like a gel, smells really good. I really like it. Definitely use this for curly hair. This is a dark and lovely oil stuff. I really don't use this. I can get rid of this. This is the Innate Life rose elixir it's like a little dropper oil for dry damaged or frizzy hair apply a few drops to the mid to ends of the hair you can use it as a heat protectant oh this sounds interesting actually i might actually try this i'm going to keep this in the straight hair side next we have these two design essentials coconut and manoy i have a deep moisture milk souffle and a curl defining jelly I do not like these products. They have a, I don't know if it's just because they're old and they started to like get messed up with the formula, but the formula is really weird and like watery and just separatey. I think they're just honestly old, so they probably need to be thrown away. These two right here are kind of the same product by different brands. This is by Beautiful Textures Curl Control Pudding, and this is by Cream of Nature Pudding Perfection. Um, between these two, I definitely like Cream of Nature better, so I'll keep this one and get rid of this one. Next up, we have two um, edge controls. This is the edge control that I like. It's the Blueberry Bliss by Curls. And it smells really good. It works really good on my hair texture. But this was hidden in the back of my drawer with the top off. So now the formula is all messed up and it's all nasty anyway. So I need to just get a new one of this and throw this away. And this is the um, Shea Moisture Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Edge Treatment. You're supposed to be able to use it as an edge control. But it's also supposed to help grow your edges. Except mine is like chunky jello. Like it does not have a smoothing texture to it at all. It's really chunky. I think... I don't know if something happened to it because it was like this when I first got it and I still tried to use it anyway, but it's just really not usable. Like there's something, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or what, but the formula is weird. So I'm going to get rid of that, which means I currently don't have an edge control anymore. So I definitely am going to have to go buy a replacement. These two things are like hair filler inners. This is a root cover-up spray it's like a colored spray to um it's like a black spray by l'oreal and this one is hair building fibers by topic so this is like a powdery stuff and this is like a wet spray and you can use this to like fill in your bald spots i use this a lot when i was dealing with my postpartum shedding this stuff comes in handy with like wigs and stuff too when you need to like fill in stuff or blend in stuff. So I definitely gonna keep this in the straight hair slash wig bucket. This is just a bottle of straight up castor oil, bunch of different uses for this, I'm sure you know. Um, so I guess I'll just keep this in the curly hair side. This back here is a lotion, so that's in the wrong section. And this last product is Design Essentials Coconut and Manoy Deep Moisture Milk Cream. I don't even know, what is this? Is it a leave-in conditioner type thing? Yeah, I think it's like a leave-in conditioner type thing. I don't remember the last time I... Smells good. And the curly hair section is empty, so I'm going to keep that. So yeah, this is all I'm keeping. I have a lot of heat protectants and hairsprays and dry shampoos for the straight hair side, as well as like serums and stuff. So this is looking good. I have all the products that I need. I don't feel like I need to buy anything, and it fits perfectly in the little basket. On the curly hair side, I'm like, what is going on? Why do I only have like three products? I definitely need to re-up on some products. I don't have any edge control, and I feel like I need like I don't know maybe I don't need stuff maybe this is just what I need but it's so empty like I'm very shocked I feel like I've been actually using up a lot of my curly hair products by all the different brands that I had and I wasn't actually purchasing any so now I finally like use them up or now I'm getting rid of them so I mean I guess that's a good thing and then this is all the stuff that I'm getting rid of some of it's just gonna go straight in the trash because it's just trash some of it I will be able to save and give it to my mom or my sister or my friends but all of this is going away much better I should probably make this a little bit more accessible like that there continuing on with the hair stuff i think i should move down to this bottom row that has a lot of like shampoo and stuff but first let me move this extra stuff out of the way okay okay so second round of hair stuff this is like hair dye and shampoo extra shampoo because i have like my main shampoo conditioner like in my shower obviously but this is like 
extra stuff. So starting with the hair dye section, I feel like that'll be easy because I don't think I'm gonna get rid of most of this stuff because this is just like extra fun stuff that I keep because I do dye my own hair and I dye wigs and stuff a lot. Oh my gosh, I have my quick weave stuff in here. When I used to do quick weaves, this is like the, what is this called? Protective shield diamond bond. It's like what you slick your hair down with when you do a quick weave. Y'all, I have not used this or done a quick weave in so long. I don't know if I ever will do a quick weave ever in my life, but just in case, I'm gonna keep my diamond bond. And also my hair glue. I have like two little things of hair. These are probably dried up, honestly. Super bond dark hair glue. I haven't used this in so long because I haven't like done a quick weave or made my own wig in forever yeah i think these are dried up so the next time that i need hair glue i'll probably have to buy fresh hair glue i don't know when that'll ever be but for now these are gonna go in the trash and then i have these box dyes i have three different colors this one is just like a jet black this one's jet black this one's number 11 it's like a golden blonde and this one is like a spicy auburn so these are just random things that i like to keep you know never know when i might want to dye my hair or dye a wig or something and then i have my diamond bond like i said and then i just have also some hair dye this is um part of the hair dye that i used on my hair most recently i mixed together like a red and a brown so this one is an actual like not a box dye but like a real hair dye that you have to mix with developer this is just some extra of that the red one so i'm definitely going to keep that over here and then i also have some developer i have 20 volume developer and 30 volume developer no use in getting rid of that because i definitely will use that at some point and i also have two little small 20 volume developers this is also some extra hair dye from when i dyed my hair this i think is the brown one that i use so i'll keep that for touch-ups this is also another brown hair dye this is actually some powder bleach for lightening your hair and then these two things are clairol color serums you're supposed to mix this in with your color to help strengthen your hair and keep your hair healthy when you color it so that'll come in handy and then i just have some really random extra hair dyes this is a like platinum silver hair dye this is a what is this crystal i think it's like i think it's like i was trying to do some type of silver blonde thing and then this hasn't even been open it's a beyond the zone color jam bubblegum pink hair dye which i've still been really wanting to use this like on a wig or something and this is a toner it's wella t15 it's like half a bottle of toner for when i'm toning my blonde wigs and stuff and i have a little hair dye squeeze bottle which comes in handy so honestly out of all the hair dye stuff i'm not getting rid of anything because i will use it so i'm honestly just gonna put everything back into the thing so that's that moving on to the extra shampoos and whatnot so first off this is empty i don't know why that was in there it's old cheap shampoo so that's trash then i have my purple shampoo and purple conditioner that i use on my blonde wigs and stuff love this stuff definitely use it i just don't keep it in my shower because i don't use it all the time but i'm definitely going to keep it in here i also have another extra different brand of purple shampoo so that'll just be a backup then i have these two things by carol's daughter i always have extra shampoo like lying around like when i get stuff in a set so like for example with this blue bottle of carol's daughter i had it as a set with the conditioner to match but i used up all the conditioner and i did not use up all the shampoo so then i just had extra shampoo but then i got like a new set of a new line so i got the purple set same thing happened i have shampoo left over but i use up all the conditioner so i end up with all these like straggler shampoos because i don't use as much shampoo as i use conditioner i tend to just keep them as backups but i never need them as backups because i never even go through one bottle but i do like to have them to use like on my wigs and stuff or i'll end up using it on zaya's hair or something like that these are both really nice sulfate free shampoos they're in a really nice bottle with a pump so i'm definitely just gonna keep these this one on the other hand i think i'm just gonna go put it in Zaya's bathroom because I don't like it as much but it'll be good for her hair this one is actually a um, body wash it's African black soap body wash by Shea Moisture it's a good body wash I just don't use it anymore because I just use simple dove soap now but I don't know I kind of want to keep this but we'll set it aside for now this is a really cheapo suave conditioner that I sometimes use on my wigs 
but lately I've been using nicer conditioner on my wigs because it just works better so honestly this is trash this is a new conditioner that I got in PR it's by Kendra it looks really nice and fancy so I guess I'll keep that as a backup this is the ovation color therapy shampoo so this is something good to use like just after I dyed my hair or something this is again from that innate life brand scalp treatment for normal scalp for in intense hydration and repair so I normally don't do anything with my scalp because I don't really have issues with my scalp this might be a good product because it's unopened it's still sealed I can like put it in the actual giveaway like giveaway for you guys pile so this is the Shea Moisture Strengthen Grow and Restore Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, hair mask. This is a really good hair mask, definitely keeping this. And this is the Carol's Daughter Almond Milk hair mask. I don't really like this one as much. I tried to use it as much as I could, but I never finished it because I don't really like it as much. So also it's pretty old and I think the formula is starting to get messed up. So I think I'm just gonna throw this away. So here's this section done, all my box dyes, all my hair dye supplies, and backup shampoos, purple shampoos, and my hair mask is in there. So we've got this section and this section done. Making our way down to this bottom part where the nail polish is. So let's move on to my nail polish bucket. This used to be my pride and joy. I really used to love doing my own nails. I used to do nail art and stuff. I have all these like rhinestones and I already got rid of a bunch of stuff like I think that was like last year I went through it and I kept some stuff, but like I literally do not use it at all. It's nice to have it, just to have it, but I think like all of these are dried up now because they just like have not been used. Like they're starting to separate. So I'm gonna go through this and see just which ones are still usable. Okay, so surprisingly, a lot of these nail polishes were still good. I do have quite a few OPI polishes and these are like really nice quality. So they tend to stay really nice and they don't dry out as much. So a lot of my OPIs were still good. And then I have like all of these China Glaze polishes that I more recently got like in a PR package or something. So these are a little bit newer and fresh and still good. And then like there's a couple of random ones in there too. So these are all the ones that are still usable as well as all my little nail art stuff. I have rhinestones, I have little skulls, I have little things that you glue onto your nails, little tape and stuff, some nail files. And then I have this little foot, foot, pumice stone thingy scrubber thingy and just some nail polish remover over here surprisingly these are the only ones that are like dried up or nasty or like not usable anymore so these will go in the trash so for now i'm just gonna put these back in here and i guess i'll keep them i mean i know i don't really do my own nails sometimes i like to play around with zaya and paint her toenails and stuff and you know sometimes i have friends come over who ask me to borrow nail polish and stuff. So, I mean, it's nice to have just a little collection just in case. All right, so that's that bucket done. The rest of the stuff down here on this side, this is my PMD device. I haven't been using this lately because you know I'm on Accutane and stuff, so I can't really use stuff like this. But after I'm done with my Accutane, this is like to get rid of acne scars and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna keep this and probably use it after I'm done with my treatment. I just need to find a better thing to hold it in. This is just a box of flexi rods. I took these from either my mom or my sister. They ordered them, they didn't like them or didn't end up using them, so I took them, but I've never used them. I tried to use them once and I honestly couldn't figure out how to make them stay in my hair or like how to use them. I need to watch some tutorials and actually try to do like some flexi rod styles, so I guess I'll just keep those for a later date. This is an old 
scrubby loofah thing which honestly grosses me out that it's just been sitting in there i have a fear of these things like harboring bacteria so that's gonna go in the trash this is the top to the nail polish and this is another box full of looks like head scarves yeah i have like my satin lined cap a satin scarf some bandanas some extra wig caps more bandanas a little diy sock bun thing hair ties um hair extension clips more wig caps i don't see anything in here that needs to be you know thrown away or given away it's all good stuff in here just depending on what type of hairstyle i'm doing and you know at times i do need those items so honestly that can just go back in there and i should get some labels and actually label these boxes that way i know what's in there this i'm probably gonna like give it back to my mom maybe she needs it for some her pills or something or i'm just gonna put it in storage somewhere else but i definitely do not use this thing every day but yeah that's one side done looking good now we have to move over to the other side and this is where the skincare stuff starts coming into play so i'm just gonna start bringing the stuff down most of it is like loose in here which is really annoying and i definitely i think need to get some more bins because this is not even holding anything or hopefully i'll get rid of enough stuff to where i won't need more bins Okay, so this is everything from that skincare shelf. I have two little bins, and those are full. Then I have all this extra stuff that was just loose on the shelf. And this is a lot of acne products, moisturizers, face masks, all that stuff. So my original like intention with these two bins was to have one body bin and one face bin. And it really shouldn't be that much because I keep my main face and body stuff up on my counter for everyday use. Either on the counter or in the drawer is where like my main everyday stuff should be. So this should really just be like extra stuff, stuff that I use sometimes, like shouldn't be that much stuff, but um, it is. <laughs> So I'm just gonna start by picking out the stuff in here that I know that I definitely wanna keep, that I've, you know, I've used it, I know I'm gonna use it. So I think I'm just going to make one of these bins definitely for face masks, cause that's one thing that I do like to have different types of, and I do like to keep, you know, a few options, just cause you know, even though you don't use them every day, like sometimes you might wanna use a different type of face mask that day, and like your skin can change week to week. So I do like to have different types of of face mask in there the main one that I really like which I talked about in my skincare video like I said you guys should check out that video um, is the Aztec Indian healing clay mask my camera is having a hard time focusing so that's really annoying here we go Indian healing clay mask so the powder and the apple cider vinegar that goes with that and that's already like taking up half of the freaking bin then I have these Freeman Beauty face mask this one is a black charcoal mask and this one is a hydrating like honey cream mask so these serve two different purposes I like both of these I also have these three masks which are from the body shop i really like the packaging of these it's like really nice glass packaging with cute little labels and so this one is a charcoal mask this one is a matcha tea pollution clearing mask and this one is a tea tree anti-imperfection overnight mask with tea tree oil and it. i actually really like this if i do have a lot of breakouts which i haven't recently but you never know um if i do have a lot of breakouts you can like smear this all over your whole face and sleep with it and it helps with breakouts so these are really nice and i also have another overnight mask by freeman beauty this one is a brightening mask this one's nice as well it has vitamin c in it so that's good for like dark marks and then i have these two really nice face masks from glossier one of them is mega greens galaxy pack and the other one is moisturizing moon mask so these are really nice um, as well so i feel like this can be like my little face mask collection i basically have every type of mask for every type of situation and you know 
I feel like it's nice to have these. It's just irritating me that this is not fitting nicely in here. Like this doesn't fit. It's like telling me to get rid of one of these things, but it's really just the apple cider vinegar that's in the way. I feel like I should put this in there and then just keep this on the shelf next to it. Moving on to cleansers. I already know I probably have a bunch of cleansers in here. Um, that's one thing that I've definitely been a hoarder with throughout my acne journey, but now I just use plain old Dove soap on my skin. I have one up there and one in the shower. So all these extra cleansers that I have in here, I really do not need them. This is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, which is a really nice product, but I just honestly don't use it and it doesn't really do anything for my skin, but it's open and I used it. I wish I could give it away to you guys, but it's open, so I'm gonna put it in the family giveaway pile. I also still have my Agni.org stuff from the last time that I used it. So it's a cleanser, a moisturizer, a glycolic acid, and a benzoyl peroxide. The benzoyl peroxide and the glycolic acid are still pretty full. The moisturizer is actually full too, and the cleanser is the one that's like kind of empty. Um, again, I wish I could give this away to you guys um, for those of you who use this system or whatever, but it's just open and it's used and that's nasty. So I feel like, I don't know, nobody else in my family has acne, so I don't know who would really get use out of this, but I just don't use this system anymore. I think definitely I'll never use the cleanser and the moisturizer, but I might in the future need the glycolic acid and the benzoyl peroxide because these are just like, you know, to um, exfoliate the skin and help with breakouts and stuff. So I just really don't know what my skin is going to be like after I'm done with my Accutane. Hopefully I won't need stuff like this, but you never know like what type of breakouts you might get. Also, cause somebody in my family can definitely get use out of a cleanser and a moisturizer, even if they don't have acne. So I guess I'll start another bucket for like actual skincare stuff. So this is my face mask bucket and this will be like skincare extra backup skincare stuff. Here's another cleanser that I thought was going to be really nice and it's a nice brand. I like Slope and Glory. This is a peaches and clean deep cleansing milk melts away makeup. I got this because I thought it would be like a good makeup melter remover but it doesn't work it doesn't do anything for me i don't know if it's just me but people really like this but i don't like this so that's gonna be a giveaway what else i have a ratchet bottle of suave lotion i mean honestly i do use this i don't know why it's so ratchet but i guess i'll keep that i also have a bottle of body oil it's like a knockoff of the neutrogena body oil and i definitely use this this is an origins precipitation continuous moisture um, it's a body cream. This is a really nice body lotion, so I'll definitely keep that. I should be using this instead of this ratchet one. This really needs to be wiped off, but this is the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer. I really like this moisturizer because I love matte moisturizers. Um, I like this one because it's in a nice little cute small container, so I like to take this when I travel. I don't use it every day, but it's a good substitute for my everyday moisturizer, so I'll keep this as like backup but I need to wipe it off okay so that's wiped off and I'll keep that in the backup pile I have a brand new bottle of Listerine so I'll keep that and put it in its place later I have a thing of Nair it's like a weird deodorant bottle of Nair I mean Nair is Nair I use Nair sometimes so I'll keep that I have a bottle of icing ear care ear piercing solution full bottle I don't even think I ever really use this because they give you I got like two no Zaya got her ears pierced and then I got a piercing so I had like two bottles of this and they give you a new bottle every time you get a piercing so if I ever get another piercing they're gonna give me a bottle so I don't need this I have Palmer's cocoa butter stretch mark massage lotion from when I was pregnant I use this on my belly to prevent stretch marks um, I don't have stretch marks so you could say it worked but also it's just genetic my mom and my grandma never had stretch marks either so I don't think I was gonna get stretch marks in the first place but I did use this and now I don't use it for anything because I do not like the way that it smells next I have some random drugstore like toner type products this is from like five skincare routines ago when I used to use this stuff 
alcohol free toner from Neutrogena, clear pore astringent from Neutrogena. I definitely don't use astringent anymore, so that can go over here. Um, somebody told me on my last video that I really need to be using a toner, and I don't right now, so I guess I'll keep this and start using it. And by somebody, I mean it was a licensed esthetician that had a lot of great information, so I kind of like took her word for it. Next, I have this acne stress control power clear scrub by Neutrogena, again from several skincare routines ago and I used to use stuff like this. I do not use this stuff on my face anymore, but a quick tip, and I've actually already been using, I have a pink grapefruit, like the pink grapefruit version of this in my shower right now because I use it on my back and my chest and my butt because those are three extra places where you can still, like, well, I still sometimes can be prone to breakouts. So I don't use it on my face anymore, but I do still use it on my body in the shower just to use it up. It makes a good booty scrub, y'all. So I'm almost done using up the pink grapefruit one. So after that, I'll finish this one up in the shower. I have this CVS knockoff of bio oil. It's basically bio oil. I had this also when I was pregnant for stretch marks. And um, it's just, I mean, it's good for dry skin to repair any type of skin issues. So sometimes I rub it on my body for various reasons. So I guess I'll keep that. This is a warm vanilla sugar um, fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. This is like so 2006. Not sure why I still have this. I mean, it smells good though, and I probably should just go ahead and finish using it up. Next up, I have a bunch of random skincare things. Ooh, this is my Bosha, I forgot about this. My Bosha Black Peel-Off Mask. This is a good face mask too, y'all. I don't have any peel-off masks in here, so I'm gonna put that in there. Another matte moisturizer by Origins. This is the Zero Oil Moisturizer. Again, I like this one because it's small and it's good for travel and it is a good matte moisturizer. I like the pink one a little bit better I think but I definitely will use this eventually so I think I'll keep that in there. Also just because it is a really nice brand like Origins. If it was like a drugstore I probably would get rid of it but this is a nice brand. Next up I have my, why does this feel empty? Ew it's all dried up. Okay so that goes in the trash. This is my PMD cleanser. This is a cleanser that you're supposed to use with that PMD device over there that I was talking about and that was was the moisturizer that you're supposed to use with it, but that's all dried up. You're supposed to use this special cleanser when you use it, so I guess I will keep that for the future. Exposed Skincare Clear Pore Serum and Clarifying Mask. I don't use this stuff anymore. Bare Republic Natural Mineral Sunscreen Tinted Sunscreen, and I'm sure it's like not my, yeah, this is white people color, so no. Dermalogica Clear Start Matte Moisturizer. This is really old. It's, you know, a good matte moisturizer, but it's not as good as some of the other ones I have, and this one's really old and crusty, so no. Dermalogica Clear Start Breakout Clearing All Over Toner, and it's in a spray bottle. But I have some other spray toners up there as well that are I think better than this, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then I have my old Curology um, medications. If you guys don't know what Curology is, it's like an online thing that you get like a personalized dermatologist and a personalized cream online. Like you put in your problems and they mix up a cream specially for you. So it says formulate it for Raven Scott and it has like certain things in it that they picked for me and you get it delivered every month. I did a video on them. I used to use this, but if you watch my skincare video, my recent skincare video, then you know why I don't use this stuff anymore, but I just had extras. So this is now trash. We've got some proactive products. Can you believe I still have proactive products in my bathroom? This is a pore targeting, pore targeting treatment and Complexion Perfecting Hydrator. Definitely don't use that stuff. Proactive is a scam. These are just little travel bottles that I need to clean out and put with my travel stuff elsewhere. So I'm gonna put these back here. This is another um, special PMD product that you're supposed to use with the device. So that goes in there. This is a, see I do have toners, but I just don't use toners. So I guess I just need to start using it, but I have a really nice Origins Zero Oil Toner. So honestly, I feel like I should keep the Origins toner and get rid of the Neutrogena toner. Then we've got an e.l.f. illuminating eye cream. I don't really use eye cream when this didn't do anything for me, so sorry e.l.f. Another thing from Exposed Skincare Acne Treatment Serum, super old. 
This is a Glossier SPF cream, a sunscreen for your face. Not used yet, but I was hanging on to it um, for if I ever run out of my other SPF, then I can switch over to using this one because you do need to use SPF every day. This is a Real Techniques makeup brush cleaner that does not freaking work. It is a scam. It does not clean anything at all. So this is trash. Oh, I forgot I had this. This is a Glossier Priming Moisturizer. It's a rich, creamy primer. I was just, oh, it has something on it. I was just asking you guys in my recent skincare video if you knew of any products like this and I forgot that I had this. This is what happens when you have too many products. So I'm gonna put this in here because I was looking for something like that. Then we've got two little oils. This is just vitamin E oil and this one is tea tree oil. Um, I like to mix these two together and use them for breakouts. So I definitely, um, I don't know, I like this, I use it, I'll keep it. So I'll keep it as a backup. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna have to end up going to Target to get another bin because I've got my acne skincare backup stuff full already and then I've got my face mask bin full. But I still have extra products like body lotion type products, which is these four that I already said I was keeping and then I also have this one which is a newer I think this was a Christmas gift I want to say from Bath and Body Works it's pink chiffon ultra shea body cream and uh, oh and then I just have my old ratchet jar of coconut oil this is so ratchet it has melted and solidified like 15 times it's got hair stuck on it makeup stains on the top but i mean still good still has its use so that kind of goes with the body oil section and then um let's see these are my fake tan products so this one i actually haven't used i told myself i was going to actually try it the next time i want to do a fake tan i haven't been bothering to put on any tan or a bronzer lately just because i haven't had a reason to like want to look extra good or anything but this is the saint tropez self tan express one hour tan it's an actual like real like foaming tan um so this is a nice fake tan i also have this one that i typically use it's more of just like a drugstore version of a fake tan it's a uh, like a gel lotion type thing by banana boat and usually i just use this so this is still like halfway full so that's good and then this is just a sephora spray on bronzer so this is just like temporary makeup type thing but you can like spray it on your chest or your legs or whatever to bronze up a little bit so all these three tanning products are different and when it starts getting warmer and i start showing more skin i will be using those so those kind of go in the body lotion section as well i also have this one that i mentioned earlier which is by rodeal this is a b venom body serum very expensive very bougie got this in a pr package so definitely gonna hang on to that just for hoarder reasons and again another pr package thing you see it says my name on it it says raven is against animal testing and it is a um coconut body cream body butter from the body shop as you can see i actually do use this i like to use it as a hand cream so yeah i really need another one of these little bins for all of this stuff and the last items are these um eye masks and lip masks from patchology that i did a video for i actually have been using this needs to be wiped off i've been using the lip mask thingies and they actually work really well to soothe my lips so this is actually a good i guess this should go in the face mask section i don't have any lip mask in there and i should probably use the eye mask eye gel things i really just don't use anything on my under eyes and I probably should because they get pretty bad sometimes so i guess i should hang on to this and then these are just sheet masks i'm not really into sheet masks i prefer to use actual like cream masks that you wash off so i will put these in the giveaway since they are unopened all right next shelf is a bunch of random stuff body wash type stuff i got summer's eve in here which i really don't even use anymore 
I've got some more Nair. This is this is good Nair. I like this spray Nair. Okay, so these are all of my vitamins, like I said before, from when I used to take all these vitamins. This is like a prenatal vitamin. All types of stuff in here that I don't currently use. So I might... Actually, I think I'm going to sacrifice this bin. I'm going to take all of these out and put them elsewhere in my house or give them back to my mom or something. I don't know, but I just don't really need them in here at all, taking up space. And now I can actually use this bin for this stuff up here that I needed a bin for. And since this acne stuff back here is more so like extra stuff that I'm not really using right now, that can be in the back. And then this can be in front and then this is able to be reached right here. So for this bin, it should just be like a few extra shower things like body wash type things. This is some Epsom salt and lavender oil. I don't know why the bottle is just in there open, but this is like to take a relaxing bath with. And like I said, this is like half of a bubble bar from uh, Lush. These hotel things, like that is so ratchet. I don't need those. Hotel shampoo. This is a random bath bomb, literally no label, have no idea what it is. I can give it away because it's sealed, so I'll just roll that over there. Avocado oil, which is good, like moisturizing for the skin. Cheap, suave body wash. Cheap, suave body wash. I don't even know why I have these because I definitely do not use these. I mean, it's nice to have these just laying around like when guests come over, I guess. I mean, but how often do I really have guests over using my shower? I mean, it's opened, but it's like almost full. I guess I'll keep it. This is a nice body wash. It's Olay Cooling White Strawberry. This is just like an extra one that I had, so I'll keep that. As well as these two Caress body washes. I did a social post with them and they sent me a bunch of these so i just had extras this is summer's eve i'm kind of on the fence about whether i should be using this or not so like sometimes i use it sometimes i don't use it i guess i'll just keep it for now and my nair which like i said this works really good on your legs you just spray it on and rinse it off so i keep that and i'm gonna keep my avocado oil in here because this is good for like i put it in like bubble baths this is completely full and unused and it's not really my favorite scent so honestly I can just give this away and that leaves me with just this little bin for my extra shower stuff and lastly we just have this bottom bin right here which I feel like is gonna be like all giveaway this whole bin is like a bunch of stuff that I got I think I got it in a goodie bag at the Sally Beauty event that I went to and I went through the goodie bag and I gave a lot of stuff away the first time and then I picked out stuff that I thought I would actually use and I put it in here and it's literally just been sitting in this bin ever since and that was like what like a year ago so I've got a hairbrush which was signed by this is Gregory and he is a this is so bad that I don't remember who this was I think he's like a celebrity hairstylist or something so he signed it we got that at the event a scalp massager a face massager thing like I do not use these things going in the get rid of pile the hairbrush I guess I should keep I don't know soft and sheen let's jam condition and shine gel regular hold and extra hold so this is hair gel oh it's like black hair gel oh no it's blue what it looked black in the thing but then it's actually blue it smells kind of weird. I shouldn't have stuck my finger in it because now it's been damaged. Maybe I'll keep the extra hold one that I just stuck my finger in and I will get rid of this other one because this one is brand new. I do use hair gel when I like slick my hair back and stuff so this will end up coming in handy after I um, run out of my got to be glue gel which I'm about to run out of. This is a Topic Root Volumizing Spray. I don't tend to try to volumize my roots. This is brand new, I can get rid of that. This is a Topic Hair Fattener Advanced Thickening Serum. Ooh, that actually sounds interesting. Apply serum to damp or dry hair, massaging in from roots to end, leave in, do not rinse out style as usual. This actually might be interesting to try. So I think I'm gonna keep this and put it in my curly hair section. This is a little mini extra hold hairspray. This actually would be good for travel. I need this. Had no idea that that was in there, but that's helpful. This is a rock on volumizing powder. 
and eh, not really something I would use for myself. Brand new, so I'm gonna give it away. We've got Clairol uh, Color Vibrancy Treatment, a rich treatment for colored hair. I do have colored hair. What is this supposed to do though? Help prevent fading and shifting of hair color and enhance shine. I have been thinking about touching up my hair color recently and this might be a good little treatment to use afterwards, so I'm gonna keep that. This is a little, oh, this is cute. It has little rhinestones on it. Rock your hair, spray it clean, dry shampoo. It's a little mini dry shampoo. I already have two full-size dry shampoos up there. I don't typically take dry shampoo with me when I travel. Although this would be cute for that. I'm kind of on the fence on whether I should keep this for travel or just give it away. I'm gonna think about it. Curlerific Moisture Rich Leave-In Spray. I haven't really ever heard of this brand or seen anybody use it. Um, I don't know. I feel like there are other brands that I already know and trust for leave-in spray, so I don't really need this. I could give it away to somebody else. This is Motions Sulfate Free Shampoo. Don't need this, I have too much shampoo already. This is brand new, I'll give that away. Then we've got a bunch of other like Clairol hair color protector type products. This is a Keratin Rescue Split In Repair. Oh, interesting. This is Color Vibrancy Conditioner, Color Vibrancy Shampoo, and more dry shampoo. Oh my God, I did not know I even had all this dry shampoo. Okay, so definitely I can't keep this dry shampoo. Like that would just be ridiculous at this point, so I'll give that one away. The Color Vibrancy Shampoo and Conditioner, I'm kind of torn on because I do color my hair, but I also tend to use like Shea Moisture type of shampoo and conditioner. I don't know how helpful it would be for me to try to use this instead. I think it would be more important for me to just use the color hair mask with my regular shampoo and conditioner, so I think I can give this away. But this split end keratin treatment thing does sound interesting, especially because I straighten my hair, so I think I'm gonna keep that. I have a little fake braided headband in a blonde color, no thank you. I have a L'Oreal Technique, I think this is like a color mixer, thingy but I don't I don't even know how to use this and I already have my little color bowl and brush so I don't need that little keratin rescue shampoo and keratin rescue conditioner so this same like split end treatment but it's a little mini shampoo and conditioner um, I'll also give that away this is mustache wax what? And the last thing is just these little rice paper oil blotting sheets, which I don't really use these anymore, so I can give those away. So in terms of what I'm keeping out of here, I'm keeping the celebrity hairbrush, I guess, the split in treatments, the color treatments, the hair thickener, the travel sh uh, hairspray, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep the travel shampoo mostly just because it has rhinestones on it. But none of this stuff needs to live in this bin. So this is going to end up being an empty bin because I'm gonna put this hair stuff in their respective homes. So this is now literally just an empty bin that is on an empty shelf. And here is all of the stuff that is not going back into that cabinet. Some of it's gonna be a giveaway, some of it's trash, some of it is stuff that I can give to my family members. And here is the finished overview of how the cabinet looks now. So pretty and organized and we even have a whole empty bin on an empty shelf. Look at that. So satisfying, yes. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video. I'm so glad I finally got that done. It's like, it's like a weight lifted off your shoulders when you get rid of stuff that you do not need and it looks so pretty and clean and organized in there now. So I'm happy about that. I hope you guys found it um, satisfying and relaxing to watch as well and maybe even discovered some new products along the way. Um, the comment of the day for this video is going to be, if you were going to be stranded on a desert island and you could only take three bathroom cosmetic skincare hair care type items this is including everything for your face for your body for your hair for anything that you do in the bathroom you can only take three things 
what are you going to take with you? Comment that down below. I'm sure this will be interesting. <laughs> and of course you guys know I couldn't finish this video without doing a little secret giveaway at the end. So these are the top of the top, best of the best products out of my giveaway pile from this video. These are all brand new unopened, never been used products. We have the Clairol stuff, that body cream, leave-in conditioner, volumizing spray, scalp treatment, a bath bomb, the oil sheets, and these Patchology sheet masks. I know it's not like a really big, nice prize, but I just felt like somebody out there might be interested in it. So all you guys have to do to win this prize is A, make sure that you're following me on Instagram, B, like this photo on Instagram, and comment on this photo with your city, and a week from today, I will be picking a random comment from that photo and mailing you this prize right here. But yeah, that's everything that I have for this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you like these cleaning organizing videos and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.